What's up, family? This your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to share this video. I got some news for you niggas today. Recently, Trap Boy Freddy did a freestyle to Mo 3 hit song outside where he dissed Mo 3 and then blamed Money Maya for his murder. And I have the video. So we're gonna watch and react to it, and then I'm gonna come back and give you guys the real. Let's go. Trap Boy Freddy is beefing with a dead man and losing, but he's no dummy. And at this point, I think he's just doing this for shits and giggles, to antagonize Mo3 fans, and to keep his name hot in these streets. He knows exactly what's going to happen when he released this record. Us bloggers are going to make videos about it for the next two days, and all he has to do is sit back, watch the videos, read the comments, give it a thumbs up, because we are doing his job for him. We are promoting him. Trap Boy Freddy knows there's no consequences for his actions. Nobody in Mo3 camp is going to do a damn thing to Trap Boy Freddy. Since Mo3 died, Trap Boy Freddy has done nothing but diss them, sneak diss them, and just openly outright diss them. Has anybody from Mo3 camp said anything about it? No. Them niggas ain't fired no shots back. Them niggas ain't made no diss records back. Ain't made a diss verse, a hook, or nothing. Give us something. So I think it's time to hold Mo3 camp feet to the fire. Now I get y'all might not want to internet the go back and forth on records, but I think it's time to take a stand and actually defend Mo3, because the man is dead. He can't defend himself. And right now, it's like Trap Boy Freddy is playing bully ball. It seems like Trap Boy Freddy is Debo. When Trap Boy Freddy says something, y'all be quiet, but when he leave, y'all be talking again. Those are the vibes I'm getting. And let me just say this to Trap Boy Freddy. Ever since the death of Mo3, you constantly diss him in records, and every time you diss Mo3, you're always alluding to putting money on his head. You're always alluding to a paid hit. And then when us bloggers blog about it, you make it seem like we're just making it up. We're instigating, we're being messy, we're just picking on old Trap Boy Freddy. No, you supply the content. We get all our content from you. And I find it funny that you wasn't doing as much talking when Mo3 was alive. When Mo3 was alive, he used to dish you on records. You used to hop on the internet and say, man, let's keep this in the street. Let's keep this off a of record. But ever since Mo3 died, you can't stay off record dissing him. So why is that? I know the answer. It's because Mo3 was a beast on the microphone. You ain't want to rap beef with Mo3. Now that's pressure. But yeah, I just think it was real low of you to diss a dead man on his record, allude to it being a pay hit, allude to you putting money on his head, then at the end of the verse say, but blame Money Maya, blame somebody else. That's just real low. But I will give you credit on this, your rapping has got better, this verse was actually decent. You're using double syllable rhyming, you're using double rhyming, your wordplay getting a little bit of better, that's the only thing good about this record, is your progress. But I will say this. How about you stop speaking on Mo3? How about you take the Yellow Beezy approach? You see how Yellow Beezy is being quiet, laying low, not sneak this in Mo3 on records, not alluding to his death on records, just handling his business, being out of the limelight. I think you enjoy the limelight a little too much, and that will eventually be your downfall. I don't know, Trap. I would have just respected you more if you actually did this much talking and dissing when Mo3 was alive instead of doing this clout chasing move. This is clearly clout chasing. What do you get out of this May Dead Man? He can't diss back, he can't even defend himself. And it's clear that nobody from the other side want to defend him. It's clear that nobody in HSM won't beef with Trap Boy Freddy. Number 7 don't, Don 9 don't, and Rainwater still don't. Mo3 been dead for 6 months, so why the hell are you still dissing him? It's clear to me why. You want your name attached to Mo3 to get your buzz up. Instead of going to the studio, instead of trying to make a hit record, you're just going to attach your name to Mo3 and try to take the shortcut to fame. That's not going to work like that because you're getting known for the wrong reason. You're not getting known for your music. You're getting known for your internet antics. You're becoming a personality instead of known for your music. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on Trap Boy Freddy dissing Mo3 on his outside freestyle and then blaming Money Maya for his murder. Get in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about it. Is it dope? Is it hot? Is it trash? 
Do Trap Boy Freddy need to hang the mic up or would you like to hear more music from him? Let me know. I love you guys. Peace.